So I've been busy this week um, just refining the the reed milling machine. It's a very old machine um, that I bought. It's about 19, 1910, 1908. It's a Pratt and Whitney um, milling uh, horizontal milling machine. Um, so what I'm what uh, this machine does, it takes uh, the strip of this is in this case phosphor bronze, and we get a milling cutter and we cut. Uh, the um, the profile of the reed on the sheet of brass or, or in this case phosphor bronze um, and then we stamp the reeds out um, and we need to be able to adjust the angle of the table very very slightly um, to give us different profiles um, and that will give us a different response for each reed um, and so I had to make um, this little fixture here and um, it's come out pretty good. Um, I'm just clocking it up at the moment just to make sure it's level before I lock the table. So I'm um, just going to show you uh, what, uh, what that's all about. So this is my reed milling machine. And it uh, basically in place of here we have a cutter. And then we um, have a handle and it moves along and it mills the, um, the reed. But what I've made this week... Um, is this little table, it's like a sign table um, and the way it works is that um, you loosen these screws here and that will allow the, the table to move up and down on this pivot and to adjust it very very slightly uh, I've got some very thin shim here and I'm going to put that underneath here um, and the slim shim will slide under here then I'll tighten these down and that will elevate the back end um, uh, 0.1 of a mil. And then I can adjust each cut by 0.1 or 0.05 of a mil. And that will give me um, an exact um, uh, cutting actor, a good reference, shall we say, to uh, to the cutting. The, I wouldn't be able to adjust it on these wheels to wind it up. Um, because the use, uh, this wouldn't give me that accuracy. What I've got to do is I've got to lock the table to get down and then just shim this up very slightly. Now, one of the things that I'm just doing at the moment is I'm just clocking um, this table for being level. And here you can see it as being zero, 0,1. If I move the table along, it's pretty, it goes up to 0 0.01. Um, so it's a very, very um, precise table that I've leveled up there. And then if I move this in and out, you can see that it's absolutely flat as a pancake there. Look at that. Oh no, 0.1. Oh no, 0 0.01. Uh, there's obviously a bit of fluctuation there. Just uh, pieces of grit, really, that's underneath. But 0 0.01 is good enough for me. Good enough for making these reads. So there we have it. That's... Uh, the um the table that I've done and um when I get it all up and running I'll show you later. Thank you.